I was chopping down one of my atlas cedars. This is a diseased specimen and it needed to go and make some good firewood. And I decided to do a little diagram on it to show the differences of a quarter sawn and flat sawn wood. And I'm going to try to do it very simply because it's slightly confusing. I don't think a lot of people can grasp the concept, so hopefully this will help. This here is quarter sawn. And if you look at the orientation of the grain, it's simply how the cut is made and the orientation of the grain. These are at 90 degree angles and it's cut this way. This is going to give you more dimensional stability. It's going to be uh, less, uh, less affected by humidity and temperature than the flat sawn piece. This is the flat sawn piece. Most of your guitar necks, probably 90 something percent of them are flat sawn. It's just, it's a cheaper way to do things because you can get more cuts and it's less time consuming. Uh, it's just easier. So this is the preferred method for guitar necks, <clears throat> which isn't necessarily a bad thing or a good thing. Uh, it's going to be less stable than this. This is a denser cut. It's simply denser material here than you're going to get here. It doesn't seem like it could be that way, but that's the way it is. So this is a less dense and more subject to uh, humidity and temperature. So the fact of the matter is most guitar necks are so thick for how much pressure is being put on them, it really doesn't matter. And virtually all of your bird's eye or flame necks, virtually all of them are, are uh, flat sawn because this is going to display the grain better than this. So that's a little video. I hope, it, I, hope I made it simple enough to understand. Uh, this here is riff sawn or close to riffs on and you can see the orientation of the grain is not at a 90 degrees comes up that would be rift or a real quick thing I could do of what a rift sawn piece would be right there and that's quarter that's a quarter sawn and most of your expensive guitars a lot of them have quarter sawn necks just because price is not a factor going into it is it necessarily any better than this? When you have a, a guitar neck that dimensionally is large enough and you've got a stable wood like maple, it's already pretty heavy and dense, it's probably not much of a factor. So there you go.